I've always had the most realistic dreams. You used to be so amazed when I would share the intricate details of who I had spoken with. Or the texture of an object. A scent drifting in the air. Even the way light diffracts as it shines through a window. But the most realistic dream I've ever had, I could never bring myself to tell you. And then it happened again. And again. And again, like a nightmare I could never shake off. It's been hard to see you here like this and not be flushed with so many memories of us. Like high school, around the first time we met, 8 p.m. on the dot, either I would call or you would call me. <laughs> we used to talk for hours about absolutely nothing. In those moments, it meant everything. Until one of our parents realized it was past 11 o'clock and forced us to hang up. You're my best friend. until you wanted to be more than friends. Do you see those stars over there? They kind of look like a W, like a lopsided W. Mm -hmm. That is called Cassiopeia. Why? I actually don't know why. <laughs> I think I fell asleep at summer camp when they told us why. But I do know that that is definitely Cassiopeia. It was junior year of high school. <laughs> God, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> it 
You were so determined, but I wasn't ready to step into that direction. How about that one? Ah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I think it's a satellite, actually. It's kind of moving. It is. <laughs> Oh, James, um, I just wanted to tell you something. Mm hmm I like this. I like us. What is that? Do you know that one? That one is Orion's belt. Hmm. Senior year roll around, and the wires in my brain finally connected, and we start dating. And it's just so happened as freshman year of college approached, you broke up with me. Can you believe that? But, then last long though. James, this better be good. I'm studying for a final. Just come out. <laughs> what? You didn't just drive six hours to be here, did you? You just have to come out and find out. I thought we talked about this. Come out. Fine. What are you doing here? I couldn't do the phone thing anymore. If only everyone can experience a kiss like that. Ew, Daddy, it's gross. <laughs> Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. Come in. That day was only topped by... That day was only topped by... May 5th, 2005. May 5th, 2005. Yeah. <laughs> That's the day I made you my wife. That's the day you made me my wife. Mm -hmm. Of course, when you gave me this beautiful little daughter two years later. Of course, you gave me the beautiful little daughter two years later. Yeah. Moving. She never squeezed my hand again or responded to anything we said, even up to the end. They said it could have been the reaction of all the medication she was taking. 
I wanted to believe she was telling me it was okay to move on, that she would be fine. However, that small squeeze of her hand provided me with the strength to get up and face the days to come. I had our wedding bands made into one ring. I wear it every day on my right hand. I have the inscriptions of the wedding date removed because I accept the truth that I'm no longer married. What was broken and taken away has been refined, recast in a new image and made to perfection. Coming, honey. This ring is a reminder of the love we shared for a season. <laughs> 